take the argument from dependency, would you accept that everything that's around us in our understanding is dependent? Is dependent on something else? Like you're dependent on something else, the grass is dependent on something else, concrete is dependent on something else. Uh, in the exist in that you know life exists only because it depends upon the concrete, it's oxygen, or food or water. Yes. Excellent point. So would you also accept that we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things? I mean, Otherwise, at what point you go back to point zero? Exactly. Okay. This I don't know. I'm not, I'm not smart enough to understand the origins of the Big Bang. With what was there before that? What I'm saying is, logically speaking, let me give you an analogy for it. Yeah. That if I am going to, I don't know, throw my watch at somebody. I don't know why I would do that, but let's just say I'm going to do that. I have to ask Mansoor's permission. Mansoor asks this brother's permission and we keep going at infinitum. Would I ever get to throw this watch? If there were infinite people <laughs> whose permission is needed. No. So can you can you see the correlation that I'm making that we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things? Otherwise we wouldn't be we wouldn't be here to begin with. There has to be an end which philosophically we define as the necessary being for us to be here. Does that make sense? Okay, you call it necessary being, don't yes. we call it a singularity? Not necessarily because the singularity also has a beginning. Now this is the big question. But whatever that thing is, time will is not be dependent, has to be independent. Time and space are not, are not linear, are but Paul, do you at least, at least agree that because we have a series of dependent things, at the end, to solve this conundrum, this problem, there has to be eventually a thing or an entity or an agency that is independent. Well, it could have just been a singularity for eternity. Whether you call it singularity or whatever, it has to be independent. Independent of what? Of anything. And everything. Okay, let me define something that's independent. It doesn't have a beginning. It's not composed of parts and it can't be any other way. That's yeah. a philosophical definition of something that's independent. So, and something that's dependent is the opposite of that. No, I understand your argument that at some point there, was, there, there had to be something to start all this off, even if it was nothing, and then that had to come into creation by something. I understand that. Yeah. Why, you know, then it comes down to belief, doesn't it, in terms of whether you think that was some pre eternal entity, eternal entity of... We're not going to that yet, Paul. No, no, but that, that's ultimately the, the, the starting point, isn't it? There has to be something that created all this. Where did that thing come from? But, but even... No, but you, you circumvented what we've actually progressed towards, which is that to say that where did that thing come from hmm. is by definition false. Because if you're saying where did that thing come from, then that thing itself is dependent. And we've already ag agreed that you can't have an infinite regress of dependent things. So there has to be an end to that chain, which philosophically is defined as necessary being. Aristotle might call it the first cause. Whatever you want to call it, there has to be an end or the, the beginning. So when you say singularity, okay, sorry, we have to go. sorry, uh, we've got two young boys. I know. No problem. No problem. I, I think this is all about giving them an education in free speech sure. and how uh, different debates are, are no, created. Definitely. In Singapore, we don't get much chance to see. So well, I appreciate the chance. Thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. I shall think yeah. about your dependency. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. So this is this is not just coming from a philosophical argument. We are Muslims, so Islam has, you know, encouraged us to think and ponder that way so that we have a belief which is firmly grounded out of conviction of informed choice rather than simply believe by blind faith. So we would encourage you to, to read the Quran which we believe is a divine guidance from our creator, that necessary being, and that will tell us how to live our life and why we are here created and what's going to happen to us after we die because it's not a cycle of life and death, this is one life, one death and the consequence. So please read the Quran and, and think about what we said.